I'm with Jan McNeilan today from OSU. How you doing? Good. Looks like you're doing some lists here. What's up? Well, it's a good time of year in the fall to take a look at what your plants are doing, which ones are happy, which ones are not. See if you could do something <laughs> about that. Some of the ones that are stressed, uh, you may want to make sure you get more water to them, or maybe they're in a sunny spot and they'd rather have more shade. Mm -hmm. Just take a look at the reasons why that plant's stressed, or that you just haven't watered it all summer. Right, but, so <clears throat> that's kind of what happened to that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> this was in a pot, it just it gets kind of tucked away, and it should have been planted in the ground, and it probably would have done better. Ah, um, yeah, this one's beautiful. Yeah, it's a kangaroo apple. It's ah. in this, um, the tomato pepper family. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And here I've got a couple things. Um, just to remind people, uh, green tomatoes, mm -hmm. and we make jokes about green tomato <laughs> right? relish, etc. But when you see a, a tomato that's on your plant, and if your season's beginning, it's starting to end here, and you're going to have a frost pretty, pretty soon. soon. Um, this is sort of a translucent green. Mm -hmm. It's not the dark, dark green. Right. And if it's like that, it will ripen. And oh, this okay. tomato right here was just like that, and it fell off the plant the other day when I was trying to move it. And I just put it in the windowsill in the kitchen, and just in a few days, it, it's a red tomato. It's ready to eat. So you can uh, gather those up. So the other thing we might want to do is um, is check. You've got a, a big leaf maple there, which is a native plant, mm -hmm. and it has powdery mildew. And you'll see powdery mildew on squash plants, zucchini plants, mm -hmm. magnolias, aza evergreen azaleas, or deciduous azaleas rather, as well as the natives and apple trees, etc. And there's really not much you're going to do about it. If it's on a plant that's a, a cultivated plant, you can do some dormant sprays in the winter for mildew. But right now. It's just there. It's an environmental issue yeah. at the end of the summer. And it's normal this time yep. of year. And this it is going to be dropping. Just make sure you don't put it in your compost. Right. Make sure you get it up out of or the ground. The, or if you hot compost it, it's okay. But mm, if, okay. if you don't, right. you're all right. Right. So, and the other thing too is to, <clears throat> when you come out in the morning, you know, you're kind of swimming through the garden because you're it's so knocking all the spider webs down. Mm. The, uh, the common uh, orb weaver or garden spider is out right now and lots of folks are concerned about it. It's just, it's there wanting to catch some prey so it can make it, its egg sacs ready to go and they've got food where, when those little spiders hatch later. So uh, they're okay. Uh, they're not a, a poisonous spider. No, so. I think they're kind of fun. I like to see them in the morning time. Sometimes they catch the dew and they're really pretty. Yep, they're mornings. beautiful. They're beautiful. So Jan, you enjoying the summer? Because I know that you're retired now from OSU Extension. I am. Um, I uh, retired from the Metro agent position in mm. June of 06, but I also continued as statewide coordinator until we got the new uh, folks hired and so I finished um, mini college in August and mm -hmm. now I'm really really 100% retired it's absolutely great oh so good I'm glad you're highly doing recommend it <laughs> but well, their new folks have been hired for we have Weston Miller that is the new agent in the metro area and we'll try to get him involved in some of the, oh, the segments and we have Gail Langolato who's statewide master gardener coordinator who's based on campus so it feels really good to pass the program on after so many years to uh, to some competent folks that are enthusiastic about uh, the master gardener program and extension service outreach oh well definitely well you leave a great legacy and i think we'll still come and see you sometimes but it'll be nice to meet weston in the future i have something for you uh oh oh <laughs> happy birthday judy thank you so much we'll see you next month all right thanks so much <laughs>